Hey, everyone. Welcome to my channel, where I share my thoughts and reactions to The Chosen, the first ever multi-season show about the life of Jesus. If you're like me, you're probably super excited for season 4, which is coming soon to theaters and online. I've watched the official trailer, and it looks amazing. But I know some of you might be wondering what exactly is going to happen in season 4, and which events from the Bible are going to be covered. So, in this video, I'm going to break down the five main storylines that we can expect to see in season 4. Let's get started. The death of John the Baptist, the first storyline that I think will be featured in season 4 is the death of John the Baptist, who is played by Elias Jansen. John is the cousin of Jesus and the prophet who baptized him and prepared the way for his ministry. He is also one of my favorite characters in the show because he is so passionate and fearless. In the trailer, we see him in prison, where he has been locked up by King Herod for speaking out against his marriage to his brother's wife, Herodias. We also see Herod's birthday party, where Herodias' daughter, Salome, dances for him and asks for John's head on a platter as a reward. This is a very tragic and gruesome scene in the Bible, and I'm sure it will be very emotional to watch on screen. I think this storyline will be in the first episode of season 4, and it will set the tone for the rest of the season, as Jesus and his followers face more opposition and danger. The start of Judas' betrayal, the second storyline that I think will be important in season 4 is the start of Judas' betrayal. Judas, who is played by Luke Dayhill, is one of the 12 disciples of Jesus, and the one who will eventually betray him to the Jewish authorities for 30 pieces of silver. In the trailer, we see some hints of Judas' corruption, as he is tempted by his former boss, Hadad, to steal money from the group's funds. We also see him looking suspicious and conflicted, as he watches Jesus perform miracles and teach the crowds. I don't know how far Judas' betrayal will go in season 4, because in the Bible, he makes his deal with the chief priests after the Last Supper, which is probably going to be in season 5. But I think we will see the beginning of his downfall, and how his greed and disillusionment lead him to make the worst decision of his life. I have to say, I'm really impressed by Luke Dayhill's performance as Judas, because he makes me feel sorry for him, even though I know what he's going to do. The Confession of Peter, the third storyline that I think will be significant in Season 4, is the Confession of Peter. Peter, who is played by Shahar Isaac, is another one of the twelve disciples of Jesus, and the one who will become the leader of the early church. He is also one of the most complex and relatable characters in the show, because he is impulsive, loyal, brave, and flawed. In the trailer, we see him in Caesarea Philippi, where Jesus asks his disciples who they think he is. Peter is the one who answers, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. This is one of the most important moments in the Bible, because it shows Peter's faith and understanding of Jesus' identity, and also because Jesus gives him a new name and a new mission. He says, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. I think this storyline will be in the middle of season 4, maybe in episode 3 or 4, and it will show how Peter grows in his relationship with Jesus, and how he prepares for his future role as the rock of the church. The death and raising of Lazarus, the fourth storyline that I think will be amazing in season 4 is the death and raising of Lazarus. Lazarus, who is played by Eric God, is the brother of Mary and Martha, who are friends of Jesus. He is also the one who Jesus brings back to life after he has been dead for four days. This is one of the most incredible miracles that Jesus performs in the Bible, and it shows his power over death and his love for his friends. In the trailer, we see Mary, who is played by Elizabeth Tabish, running to Jesus and telling him that Lazarus is dead. We also see Jesus weeping at the tomb of Lazarus, and then commanding him to come out. We get a glimpse of Lazarus' face, wrapped in grave clothes, as he emerges from the darkness. This scene gave me goosebumps, and I can't wait to see how they will portray it on screen. I think this storyline will be towards the end of season 4, maybe in episode 7 or 8, and it will be a turning point for the plot, as it will also provoke the Jewish leaders to plot against Jesus and seek his death. Palm Sunday the fifth and final storyline that I think will be in season 4 is Palm Sunday. This is the day when Jesus enters Jerusalem on a donkey, and the people welcome him with palm branches and shouts of Hosanna. This is a fulfillment of a prophecy from the Old Testament, and it shows how Jesus is the King of the Jews and the Savior of the world. 
In the trailer, we see people gathering palm branches and cheering for Jesus as he rides into the city. We also see a man in armor, who some people think might be King David, as a flashback to his victories that were celebrated with palm branches. I'm not sure about that, but I think it's an interesting theory. I think the storyline will be the last one in season 4, maybe in episode 8, and it will be a contrast to the next season, where the same people who praised Jesus will turn against him and demand his crucifixion. So, these are the 5 main storylines that I think will be in season 4 of The Chosen. I'm so excited to see how they will bring them to life, and how they will make me feel closer to Jesus and his followers. What do you think? Do you have any other theories or expectations for season 4? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more The Chosen content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.